Allie Mae, Allie Mae, surprise, surprise. We had two of them dropped on us today. I had no plans, zero plans. Look at this hot mess right here. It was a quick, quick, fast rush to get a trailer kind of cleaned out because we got two drop on us today. By the way, we're promoting the Feed Every Gorilla token. I guess you figured that out from the thumbnail. But yeah, man, they're saying, the, the text line read, hey, you need to get out here. You need to get this one. This is some pretty good stuff. Uh, you know, I think I think you could really make some money from it. So, um, okay, okay. So we're gonna pull it up because we got to do this pretty quick. We're running out of daylight. But really quick. So we are we are bullish on the Feg token. You know, and and why? What's the number one reason? For me, man, it's the it's the community. I swear to God, there's ants in that truck. Um, the community, man, is like an army of people that are just tuned into the whole thing. The development team is, is, is super active on social media. They, they, I think they were like number one on Twitter last month as far as mentions, well over a million. We'll confirm all this stuff, you know, I'm, I'm, but th these are some of the points, some of the bullet points I was reading, right? Um, but we'll look at the website like we always do. But let, let's get right into this, guys. Let's see if we can make any money taking other people's junk and turn it into money, turn it into fiat, and then turn it into crypto. And today's crypto is the Feg token. Feg. 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 All right, Ellie. Nice. What do you think? It doesn't look too bad at all. Mm -mm. It's very organized. Yeah, not bad, not bad. So yeah, look at this. This is what she was saying now. She said there was a nice dresser, there was a nice bed, there was some kind of HP laptop. She said basically the story was doesn't look bad at all, Ellie. But she said basically the story was this old girl like moved to Florida and then got to Florida and called her and said, Hey man, I don't care about any of that stuff up there. Throw it away, do what you will, kill my account. And then that's when she called me and she was like, dude. You need to come down here and get this stuff. So anyway, let's pull it out. We'll, we're going to run out of daylight, and we got this other one up the road. So let's pull it out, Ellie. See what we can do. Look at the money, and then we'll go from there. We'll, we'll come back on and, and show you guys some of the coolest stuff we find. Ellie, we are running out of daylight. So really quick. I can see I can see where old girl would have been excited about it. At first glance, I was kind of excited about it, too. You know, she saw the laptop. She thought that headboard was a dresser. Uh, the bed, you know, is all wrapped up. And these are some of the things she said. But truth is, man, I mean, it's it's certainly not the worst unit I've ever got by far. Do I think I'll make a few hundred dollars? Yes, I do. Uh, I mean, wrapped up box spring, you know. This bed, it's, you know, obviously they go together. Queen bed to the queen box spring. Not the worst I've ever seen, certainly not the best. We've sent it through our cleaning process. That's a hundred dollar bill, man. You put it on that set of rails that I'm not going to bother to show you in front of that headboard. That's a hundred dollar bill after it goes through the process. Then we got the laptop. We found the charger, Ellie. That's good. If that thing works, man. That, that's probably a seventy five hundred dollar bill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, old Negan, he's been selling the fire out of laptops. He said, man, they are one of the hottest ticket items going right now. Pretty much everything else, though, it's money, man. It's books, it's shoes, it's clothes, it's coffee pots, it's all that kind of stuff. I would say 80% of it's good. I'm going to go with 200 bucks to be conservative, Ellie. We're going to say 200 bucks on this one, and, and that's it. Let's load it up. Let's get down the road. Maybe we get some footage before it gets completely dark on us. Ellie, Ellie, actually, what we need to do right now is we need to look at the website. Because that's what everybody's really interested in. What is the Feed Every Gorilla token really all about? So let's do that right now. We'll come back. We'll try to take a look at this, this next unit right up the road. All right, all right, all right. Here we are looking at the website. And there is a ton, ton of information on the website. We're not going to cover all of it. That is a fact. We're going to go into a little bit of it. And it's going to start right now. Uh, if you scroll down just a little bit, you're going to come upon Feed Every Gorilla, Combined Market Cap, $500 million. Uh, so, 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 so the Feg token is actually on the Ethereum 
Smart Chain and the Binance Smart Chain. Unusual. You don't typically see that. Um, I think this is the first coin that I've run across that does that, which is awesome. So we'll leave it at that for now on that particular aspect of this coin. We're not going to get into the FegX right this minute. We are going to skip right down here. And we will briefly say that you can, there is an app where you can track pricing, you can track your rewards. Um, I'm sure there's more to it. I actually haven't downloaded the app yet. I probably will get around to it. I just got so many apps on my phone. It's ridiculous, but it's on Google Play. It's on the App Store. Uh, you know, check it out. I'm going to do the same. I just got to take the time to do it. So beyond that, official partner of PASA, Pan-African Sanctuary Alliance. You know, I haven't actually looked into that, exactly what they do, but one can assume that they take care of gorillas or lions and tigers and bears. I don't really know exactly, but I'm sure that they shelter, create habitats, and help feed all of this wildlife that needs our help. All right, so the FEG ecosystem, uh, part of what I love about all these coins that I dabble in, I look for this actually, rewards. FEG token rewards its holders with 1% tax on each transaction to punish weak paper hands. So that's cool, man. You know, a lot of them will do 4%, 5%. They went with 1%. You know, I'm down with it. Here's an extra 1% that'll help your wallet out. Burn rate. Each transaction triggers a burn rate of 1%, which decreases the circulating supply of FEG over time. I tell you, man, that is going to be huge. You give it enough time, you, you got diamond hands. Not only are you going to add 1% to your wallet every minute of every day that somebody is uh, buying, selling, transferring the FEG token, you're also going to get 1% to go to a dead wallet, which again, both of those things are going to put money in your pocket. All right. So then they go on, they talk about the tokenomics, which they don't really talk about, but we're going to, because we're going to dig a little bit deeper. They got their roadmap here and all of their accomplishments. Um, yeah, we're not going to really get into that either. I mean, that's easy enough to look at. So uh, here's a link to their light paper. Um, I found it another way. They've had an audit done. We won't go into that very much, but that's good news. They've had the audit done. We are going to get into the light paper. I went into the frequently asked questions section way up here at the top, and I was reading all about it. And there, again, there's a ton of stuff we could talk about, absolute ton of stuff we could talk about. I stopped right here because it said, uh, you know, does Feg token have a white paper? Well, no, we don't have a white paper. It's coming soon. We do have a light paper. So I went into the light paper and found a couple of things worth noting. And this goes into the tokenomics a little bit more and, and really just breaks it down a little more. FEG is a hyper-deflationary decentralized finance DeFi token that operates on the Ethereum blockchain and the Binance smart chain. FEG token was built to succeed. Each chain was launched with initial 100 quadrillion tokens. 50 trillion quadrillion uh, of each chain were immediately burnt and to kickstart FEG tokens deflationary tokenomics. And then it talks about the 2% on every buy, sell, and transfer. So even if you just transfer, you're still 1% of it's going to go into your wallet, 1% of it's going to go into a dead wallet. So that's great. Um, da, 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 you know, so that, so, you know, I mean, I'm not going to I'm not going to get any deeper with that. That's the that's the main thing I wanted to talk about with the tokenomics. But this right here, this this is the point of this entire video that may be the decision maker for you. It certainly certainly helped me when I was investigating this coin as to whether or not I'd have any interest. And let's get right into it. FEGX redefining DeFi. FEGX FEGX.exchange or FEGX.com is an all-in-one exchange. It was built from the ground up with custom coding that is specifically designed to resolve major issues with other popular exchanges surrounding DeFi tokens. FEGX has a bridge that makes cross-chain swaps possible between the two blockchains. FEGChart allows for advancing charting, advanced charting and provides a deep dive into technical analysis. So, what did they just say? Well, what they just said was they're trying to create an exchange 
or they are, they have, and, and let's hope it gets a little more popular than it is right now. That should help with the price, right? But they have created a, an exchange, you know, like a Uniswap or, or a pancake swap or all these different, you know, swaps that are out there that are going to allow for you to buy not only coins on the Binance smart chain, but coins on the Ethereum network. And who knows how many other, like the Go chain or who knows how many other chains that, that could potentially be on this exchange. And how sweet would that be? How sweet would it be? And, and you know, I mean, I, maybe I'm assuming too much here, you know. I'm not the smartest kid on the block. But how sweet would that be where you could go to any exchange and work with any token? I mean, that's the direction that it sounds like they're trying to go to me. And that right there, this early in the game, that right there for me... And again, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, whatever. But that right there for me, man, was what made me say, you know what? I'll throw a few bucks into the FEG token. If they can pull this off, if they can make this happen, that's a big deal. That's a big deal to me anyway. Maybe it's a big deal to you. Maybe it's not. I guess we'll find out <laughs> in due time. But all right, well, listen, let's do this because, I, I, again, I, it's already been you know, seven minutes or so talking about the website and we barely scratched the surface, uh, you know, talking about the website, talking about the coin and what and, and, and the plan and, and the direction it's going. But let's do this. Let's get back to the Trailer Park Kid and Ellie Mae. Let's find out if they got any more, any more, well, they got more junk, other people's junk, but did they make any more money? That's the question. And then at the end of the website, like we always do, guys, at the end of the video, God, at the end of the video... Like we always do, we'll see how much money we got. We'll see how many uh, FEG tokens we're able to get from it. And then we, we will dream, dream, dream about what the future could become if, it, if the FEG token increases in price. I mean, we're, we're hoping we're going to get a 100x on all these coins that we buy into, right? Shoot, man, I, I don't know. Let's dream a little bigger, maybe a 1,000 or a 5,000x. I suppose enough time goes by, anything's possible. All right, back to it. Let's see what them. Uh, let's see what the TPK is getting into now. All right, Allie, could you tell I was a little worried about how much light we would have getting to this second unit, second location? Mm -hmm. Well, we got about probably 15 minutes, and according to the description, it's just really a China hutch and a, and a chase lounge and and all of that. So we'll probably be able to get a value of it right when I open it up. So far, it's been a little underwhelming because I was kind of amped up about that first unit, the way she was talking. I mean, you know, we're going to make money, but it wasn't nothing really super, super exciting. Let's see what's in this one. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, Baker's Rack, a little Chase Lounge from 1971. And the China Hutch. I like the Chase Lounge. I thought it was pretty. I think it's pretty. I like the colors. No, yeah, it's cool. It's actually cool. That's that's money. I can make money on that. But not so bad, Ellie. Not so bad at all. In fact, I think we can go ahead and just give a value to it right now while we still have a little bit of light. That China Hutch, it ain't got no shelves in there. Maybe, maybe there is. I haven't found them yet. But even without them, man, that's bamboo style like it is. I think you can get a hundred bucks out of that thing. I really, I mean, you know, you may end up selling it for 75 or whatever, because China Hutchers are kind of difficult, but that one's cool enough, man, with the bamboo style. Mm -hmm. That baker's rack over here, Ellie. Yeah, that's an easy, that, Ellie, that's an easy $50 bill. And then headboards, you know, an old king headboard ain't going to be too exciting. You might get... 20 bucks on a good day for an old king headboard. So let's do it that way. Let's say 100 on the high end, $50 easily. Very easy, get $50 for that baker's rack. And let's say another 50 bucks between the king headboard and the chaser right here. I think you could do that, don't you think, Ellie? I think you mm -hmm. get 50 bucks out I of this, uh, yeah. this, this chaser. There's 200 bucks, Ellie. We're up to 400 bucks. Mm -hmm. And we've been working for what? 30 minutes? Yeah, I think this unit's better than the last one. It myself, is. But, it's going to yeah. be super fun trying to load that big, tall bamboo china hutch. But that's what we're going to do. We're not going to bore you with that. We got $400, guys, of other people's junk. Um, 
I probably should have said this before now, but I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. It's all for entertain entertainment only. So, all right, so let's load it up. Let's get home. We're gonna get right into the calculation, Ellie. How many fags can we get for 400 bucks? I'll tell you right now, it's gonna be billions. <laughs> all right well this is my favorite part of the video boys and girls so here we go we're on coin gecko we're taking a look at the feg token it is currently worth point oh 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 seven oh six four and just take a look around ranked number 143 42 thousand people are tuned in 4.5 million dollars in the last 24 hours yeah all right well whatever we went over that all that mess uh you know part of that anyway while we were looking at the website so let's jump right into the calculation which is my favorite part and i've already got it pre-set up to get started here we made 400 bucks we took 400 dollars of other people's money other people's junk turned it into our money now we're going to turn our 400 dollars into whatever billions of feg tokens so without further ado how many feg tokens do we get <laughs> all right I did. so literally i didn't i didn't pre i didn't look at this number so we got we got uh one two three 56 billion feg tokens man 56 billion 625 million 141,562.9 and growing and growing don't forget about that one percent uh that will just be added to everybody's wallet you're part of that you're part of that deal as well so all right so 56 billion now just for fun we're going to just do this three times like we always do oh what did you do you dummy where did it go yeah 56 all right so 50 so 56 billion times point oh 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 what do you say ellie well let's go with uh five 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 six nine all right so when the feg token reaches oh five 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 six nine boom we just went from 400 bucks to 3,000. not too shabby not too shabby how long we think that's going to take who knows who knows as you guys all know, especially with these uh, quote-unquote poo coins, it's all high risk, and we're just having some fun here, as I always like to point out. So hopefully to get there, hopefully we'll drop some zeros. I certainly think we can. We reviewed a little bit of the website, and I definitely think it's possible. But let's keep going. Let's have a little more fun. We take our $56 billion, we multiply it by point. Oh, 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 oh. Let's go with seven, four, nine, nine, five, three. What do we got? $42,000. <laughs> hey, man. 400 bucks of other people's junk turned into 42 grand. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that day. All right, one more time, one more time. Like I say, I got to dream a little bit. I got to get me a cabin. I got to get me a house. I got to get me a mountain lake property. That's what I need. So we got our 56 billion figs and growing. We could almost assume at this point that by the time we have the fig token equal to. Oh, 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 oh. What do we do? We dropped. We're going to do five zeros. If we get it to where there's just five zeros left, we're probably going to be closer to 60 billion fig tokens. But whatever we're going to go stay with our 56 billion and we're going to do five zeros we're going to do uh i don't know four two eight nine five five good enough what do we get Two hundred forty-two thousand. <laughs> oh man i'll tell you what we're getting close now i mean we got to pay taxes on this money if we cash out you know but we're getting closer we ain't gonna do no more because you guys obviously you know it's just gonna go up if we keep dropping zeros man can you imagine if it got to a penny can you just imagine if 
We bought in our four. You know what? Let's do it one more time. One more time. This is it. I promise you. I think it's going to be like fifty-six million. Pretty sure that's how that's going to work. We'll do a weirder number than a penny. We'll do uh, fifty-six billion. Uh, wait a minute now. Come on. Fifty-six billion times. Ellie, what do you say? What do you say we do? Two pennies. Two point five six nine nine six. So basically, a little over two and a half pennies. If the Feg token is ever worth two point five pennies, Ellie, and we have like well more than fifty six billion at this point, what do you think we're going to be worth? We're going to be we're going to have like you know a Hawaiian ocean villa, a whole condominium setup. Because here we go, boom! Holy cow! What is this? Let's see here. One, two, let's see, one, two, three, one point four billion dollars, Ellie. Mm. <laughs> All right, now we're just getting foolish. But hey, man, I got to dream a little bit. All right, guys, listen, if you enjoyed this content, if you enjoyed what we're doing, if you think, hey, you know what, sometimes I just get bored with all the analytics and, you know, I just need to, I want to, you know, wanna, I want to learn a little bit, but I want to have a little fun, too. Go ahead and hit a like. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Uh, you know, we're going to keep bringing it. We're going to keep looking at these tokens that are of interest, and we're just, we're just having fun. That's all we're doing. So, listen, it's been real, and it's been fun. Trailer Park Kid is out.